cross uh, where he died for our sins it, it was at the cross that he paid the debt uh, for us and now we can be redeemed uh, we can be restored uh, we can have a relationship with almighty god uh, we worship you we thank you almighty god thank you jesus for your love and your goodness oh god we give you all the praise and all the glory amen amen you may be seated tonight it's good to be in the house of the lord amen to worship our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. At this time, we'd like to ask our usher to come help us receive the Sunday evening tithe and offering. You can give online at myntcc.org slash junctioncityks, or use the QR code there, or you can give on our cash app, dollar sign, NTCC Junction City, or you give an offering bag. But you give, and God will bless you according to your giving. Amen? Brother Ron, sir, would you please pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for giving us the ability to give unto you. We thank you, Lord, for the many blessings we have received from you today. We ask you, Lord, to bless the gift and the giver according to your word. Jesus, precious and powerful name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, we do thank you for your giving tonight, and God will bless you according to your giving. Amen. Tonight I'd like to direct your attention to the Gospel of Matthew, Matthew chapter 7, reading verses 7 through 11. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Or what man is there of you, whom of his son ask bread, will he give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he give him a serpent? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father which is in heaven give good, get, good, give good things to them that ask him? And directing your attention back to verse 7 for our text tonight. He said, ask and it shall be given you, seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be opened unto you. And with the help of the Lord tonight, I'd like to preach in a thought or title of message, fi finding what you need. Pastor, sir, would you please pray? Amen. Asking for help is probably one of the hardest things a person can do. Especially when you are perhaps strong-willed, you're independent. Perhaps you think, I don't need any help. I can do things on my own. Or perhaps uh, you, don't, you don't want to ask for help because of what others might think. You don't want to ask for help because of, of your own, pretty much, your pride. Uh, I don't need someone to help me. I don't need, uh, I don't, I'm, not, I'm scared of what others might think. I don't want people to think less of me. But we all need help tonight. We need the help of Almighty God. And if you never ask for help or you never ask for anything, you will never know the answer and you will never receive what you have need of. But you first, you have to ask. You have to be the one to step out of faith and you have to ask for your blessing. You have to be the one to step out and ask for help. You have to ask yourself though first, what do I have need of? You must look at yourself in the mirror. 
And see yourself for who you are. You have to be the one to, to look at yourself and, and come and be honest with yourself. You can't uh, uh, hide behind and, uh, and just lie to yourself. No, I, I, I need to be honest with myself and I need to be honest with God. In John chapter 5 and verse 39, he said, Search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life. And they are which they te- and they are they which testify of me. Search the scriptures. Uh, what is the mirror for us tonight uh, to know that we have a right standing of God? Uh, what is the mirror tonight that we look at? Uh, it's the scriptures. Uh, we look at the word of God, uh, and the word of God is the the thing that the, that convicts us by the Holy Spirit. Uh, he convicts us. Uh, are we living uh, right? Are are we living? Uh, are, do we have a right relationship with God tonight? Am I right? Am I living the way I know I should live? Does my life belong to Jesus? And tonight, if it doesn't, uh, you can find what you have need of tonight in Jesus Christ. Uh, you can come to that uh, realization, Lord, uh, I, I need you. I need some help. Uh, I need you to move on my life. Yeah. We must be honest with ourselves and what we need. It's not enough just to look at the mirror and see yourself for who you are, but you gotta be honest with yourself. It's easy to tell a lie. It's easy to say, I don't need anything. I don't need God. I, I have what I need. I, I don't need any help. Uh, uh, the most common lie I perhaps told uh, that someone to, to themselves is, me and God, are, we're good. We're good, I have it, and we have an understanding. God knows that I only sin on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and the rest of the week I'm good. God knows my heart. Uh, he knows that uh, I want to live for Him. Uh, and He understands that uh, 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 I can't seem to do it because I have everything else i got to do first. He accepts what I'm doing when really He doesn't. And we lie to ourselves and we lie to God. And we, then we, what? We never ask for what we really need. We lie to ourselves, and so then uh, when we lie to ourselves, we think uh, we get in that state that uh, I'm good, I don't need help, I don't need deliverance, I don't need salvation, and, and so then we never really ask for a delivering power of Almighty God, and we continue to live that way we are. But we gotta ask God. We gotta ask God for what we have need of tonight. Uh, tonight, you cannot be doubtful. You cannot be unbelieving when you ask. If you don't believe in what you're asking, if you don't have faith uh, that God will do it, that God will save you, that God will uh, deliver you, then he won't. In Matthew chapter 13 and verse 58, And he did not many mighty works there because of their unbelief. Because of their unbelief, uh, God, Jesus could not move on the seed. Uh, because of their unbelief, because they didn't have faith in Jesus, uh, God could not do anything for them. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, he said, But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Without faith, we cannot please God. Without faith, uh, we cannot be saved. Without faith, uh, we cannot be delivered. Without faith, uh, we truly cannot ask. And, and God will, what, it shall be given to you. Uh, uh, you truly cannot ask without faith. You have to come and believe the Lord Jesus Christ. You must ask in faith, believing. In Matthew chapter 17 and verse 20, And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. A grain of mustard seed uh, is, is, is one of the smallest seeds. And so he, he shared it. If you have the faith, uh, just a small amount of faith, uh, it, can, it can move mountains. So if we'll just believe, uh, if we'll just trust in the Lord Jesus Christ uh, and believe on him, uh, he said you can move mountains. Uh, your need can be met tonight. Uh, you, can have, you can be delivered and you can have what you have need of. But you have to ask. You have to be the one to ask. When you have faith, nobody can dissuade you from what you believe. 
When you truly believe and you truly have faith, uh, they can tell you all sorts of things. Uh, they can tell you that Jesus is dead. Uh, they can say that Jesus isn't real. They can say, they can tell you that, oh, Jesus was just another man, uh, just another prophet. Uh, but you know what? Uh, I have faith. Uh, I know on the inside. Uh, I believe the word of God. Uh, he wasn't just another man, uh, but he was God in the flesh, uh, born of a virgin. Uh, he came down to this earth uh, to deliver men and women from their sins they can tell you all sorts of things they can make things up say you're crazy call you names make fun of you but it's not going to stop you from believing it isn't necessarily because what the preacher says that, that makes it true, the Bible true, uh, but because it comes from the Word of God. Uh, there's something on the inside. Uh, I'm choosing to believe. Uh, I believe uh, because it's the Word of God. And the Word of God is truth. He said, ask, and it shall be given. Seek, and you shall find. We have to seek. Seek with everything that is within us. We must lay everything on the altar. We can't hold on to anything. We can't hold on to our past sins. But we got to lay it all on the altar and allow God to take it away. The altar is a place of sacrifice tonight. It was at the altar that the sacrifices were made for sin. It was at the altar that uh, the blood was shed. It was at the altar that surrender was made and a realization that I'm not right in the eyes of God. I needed something to take my place. I was lost and on my way to hell. I deserved a death. I deserved to die and go to hell. But Jesus, he took my place. Jesus went in my place and he, he surrendered it all on the altar of the cross. The altar, we can't, it's a place of surrender. And we can't hold back a portion or even a little bit. We can't hold back, uh, but we got to lay everything on the altar. we got to come to that place of surrender of giving it all over to Jesus and allowing Him uh, to take our sins away. Jesus, the ultimate example of someone who laid it all on the line. He laid it all. He gave his all on the cross. He gave his all when he was beaten and, and bruised for our iniquities. He gave it all when they pierced his side and they mocked him and they did all sorts of things to him to, to the point that his very visage was unregular. He, you could not recognize him as Jesus anymore. He was marred and bruised for our transgressions. He was a bruised for our iniquities. He, his, the chastisement of his peace was put upon him. He died for each and every one of us he gave it all think about the song his life for mine we should have been the ones on the cross uh, but he gave his life for, for each and every one of us uh, he paid the ultimate sacrifice so that we might live and have everlasting life and so we have to give it all to Jesus we have to search we have to look to God for with everything that's within us, not holding back. In Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse 13. He said, And you shall seek me and find me, when you shall search for me with all your heart. We have to search for God. We have to search for Jesus. Uh, we have to make him our main focus. Uh, when he's, uh, it has to be our singular focus, our drive. That everything that's within me, everything that, uh, 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 that's in my life, every piece of my life, uh, I'm giving it over to God. Uh, I'm going to search. Uh, I'm not going to stop asking. Uh, I'm not going to stop seeking. Uh, those uh, people might find fault. People might ridicule. People might find uh, have doubts. And, and I try to cast their doubts on me. But uh, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep believing. I'm going to keep seeking because I'm not going to give up until I get what I need of. Amen. You think about, I believe it was Jacob who wrestled with the Lord. And he didn't stop wrestling. He didn't give up until he got what he needed. Will we give, will we give up? Will we stop seeking with everything that's within us? See, you need to seek. When you seek, he said, you shall find. 
You will find what you have need of when you seek the Lord. You won't find something that you don't need. We get a different answer many times because we aren't searching for the right thing. We want a, a different answer. Uh, we go, God, uh, I need salvation. God, I need this. Uh, and, uh, and we're not seeking with the right heart. Uh, we have to, uh, when we seek with the right heart and say, God, uh, this is what I, I know what I need. Uh, and I, I see it by your word, God. Uh, I need you to move in my life. And when we seek the Lord with the right heart, we'll find the right answer. You see, you don't get dessert when you still haven't eaten your dinner or your lunch. Even though it's nice, right? Uh, man, I could go home and uh, have a nice piece of apple pie, but you haven't had dinner yet. I know, I'm an adult though, right? But the kids, the kids, they have to have their dinner first. Then you can have the cookie or the apple pie. And so it is with God. Uh, we got to have the, the, we have to get it first. Uh, uh, he said to get the, the insides cleaned up first and the outside will come clean. Uh, we got to have the right thing. Uh, we have to uh, search for the right thing and God will give us what we need of. God knows what we have need of. Before we even ask, before we even receive what we need, God knows. But are you willing to step out in faith? Are you willing to do what it takes uh, and believe God and say, God, uh, I, uh, I, I've been trying to do all these other things. I've been trying to find my own way. But God, uh, I'm seeking your face. Uh, God, I'm giving it over to you because you know what I have need of tonight. Jesus said what? That the very hairs on our head are numbered. And if, our very, the, if he knows... The very number of our head, the very number of our hairs on our head, how much more does he know the desires of your hearts? And he knows what you have need of. And he's waiting and he's ready. He's, he's willing to bless us. He, he's willing to give us the desires of our hearts. Uh, he's willing to, to meet that need. Uh, but do we uh, uh, seek God with everything, with the right hearts? He said, finally, knock, and it shall be opened unto you. When you knock, knocking is taking action. You are taking action with what has been shared with you. You're, if someone told you that such and such place was giving out free food, that if you went down to McDonald's, you could get a free Big Mac, and all you had to do was show up and ask. You would do it. All you have to do is go there. All you have to do is go there and get it, and you're good to go. Or it was if someone tells you that you will receive $100 when you knock on a door. You knock on this door, you go and knock on it, you're going to get $100. And so you go and do it because this person said it happened for them. So surely it's true. And so you go and you knock. It's the same way with God. When we begin to knock on the doors of heaven and say, God, I have need of something. God, I'm here to get that blessing. That door opens and you get what you have need of. You get what God has promised you. But you have to be the one to take the action. You have to be the one to step out in faith. We have to take action. We have to act on what we believe. In James chapter 2 and verse 20, he said, But wilt thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? Then you can uh, believe all you want, but until you take action, until you step out of faith, uh, until you uh, uh, grab hold of what God has uh, asked for you, it's not. It's going to be empty. You have to be the one to knock on that door. And God says, hey, uh, I stand at the door and knock. Uh, if any man hear my voice uh, and open up, I will come in and uh, I will sup with him. Uh, God is already at the door ready to give you what you need. <laughs> God, he will open that door. He won't withhold anything that you have need of tonight. In Psalm 84, verse 11, he said, For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. When we begin to just walk and we have a, a right heart, we have a right standing with God. God's going to bless us. God's going to take care of us. God's going to meet the, the needs in your life. But we have to do our part as the musician begins to come. 
We have to be the ones to do our part. We have to be the ones to step out of faith. We have to believe on the Lord Jesus. If we believe in our heart that God hath raised him from the dead, he said, thou shalt be saved. You'll get your blessing. You'll get your need met tonight. But will you step out of faith? With every head bowed and eyes closed, a reverence to the Lord tonight. Finding what you need.